Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and most importantly Happy New Year! Today's video marks the start of 2024, the first video of the year and I do hope you all had a happy holiday. And I want to start off the video by asking how did you guys celebrate New Year's? What did you guys do? Comment in the description down below and let me know. For my New Year's, I'll tell you how I spent my first day of January. I spent my first day of January with a tsunami warning and a 4.0 Earthquake. <laughs> Japan does not play around when it comes down to natural disasters. I will admit it's a very sad occasion, but it was it was scary. It was you know I'm not even gonna beat around the bush, bro. It was scary. The house was rumbling. It was bouncing like a trampoline. The doors were rattling, bro. It was an experience. But of course, I do hope that all the families and people involved obviously do stay safe, and I hope everyone can hopefully get their homes back. Today's video is going to be a suggest a request a video, a video where you guys the community tell me what you want to see and i feel like that's the perfect way to start off 2024 and for today's suggested requester the request comes from the bread that caused les mis and the request was to jump into the world of a very british civil war and take britain a broken britain and reunite them now starting out for context when it comes down to my homeland of britain i am a southerner i am from southwest london this area around here is my home but let's be honest and i'm pretty sure every Every other Brit will agree with me when I say this, but uh, if there was a British Civil War like this again, uh, the Southerners, we don't stand a chance. Let's be honest. It's all down to the Scots and the Northerners. Those lot would absolutely dominate. But looking at the factions we've got, we've got the Yorkist Front led by Prince Albert. We've got the Scottish Jacobites led by Alexander McGowan. We have the Anglican League led by the Appointment Commission. And we have Oswald leading the Provisional Government. Oh yeah, and of course, the Royalists led by Eddie. <laughs> now, I do want to do something different. And I did think about uniting the UK under the, the Welsh, but I, I don't know if that's a good idea. Because each country has their own buffs and negative, uh, negative defects, such as the Anglican League. They have have divided clergy oof they have jammed jerusalem oof they have lost industry oof they have faith in god or faith in the crown oof but on the other hand kernal down in cornwall they have plus 25 percent on division core and attack uh they 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 have no man island recruitable pot plus 25 percent it's a bit of a mix however it doesn't matter which one i want to play being as a british native i have to play the homeland so without further ado we're gonna hop in as the anglican league oh this is gonna suck <laughs> okay so here we have a very british civil war this gives us a general breakdown of what happened and essentially what it is is king eddie didn't he, he chose not to to resign he chose not to rescind his right to the throne and eventually led to a broken country with ministers retiring or leaving and handing in their resignation or the church just abandoning all hope king eddie invited oswald to come and take london and that's kind of where we're at now essentially as well by clicking on good lord then what and all this information i've got it's essentially a lot of the people didn't like the fact that oswald kind of came in and it just turned into a big kerfuffle i'm gonna end it there honor the truce wait hold on wait 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 so i have an opportunity opportunity here to honor a truce or defy the truce. I'm going to honor the truce just for the sake of my own sanity and start off semi peacefully. Surprisingly enough, playing as the clergy, we actually start out with a fairly good focus treat. No, we're not acknowledging the red. The red, the red doesn't exist. Okay, so there's two three maybe four ways that i can see us going about it we can go this way which is you know red communist socialist whatever whatever i'm gonna ignore it like i said i don't like red runs we've got the center which is very much church and we can choose to move in and support the yorks or we can just go on our, on our own pace and go towards you know annexing people like the free city of liverpool or cornwall all in all it ends up with a victory of the church and the church is now the main lead then we have this one this kind of i don't know it gives me different vibes but we can either side with the the the, the kingdom and edward or we can move and side with uh the northern packs or the uh, like cornish and it's a bit all over the place because i i feel like this is this is two different lines blended into one that's my impression however we are playing the church so it does make sense to do a holy run so praise up we're going in as the church appoint the commission we're gonna go and try and form victory for the church Let's go and make a holy Britain. I have to say as well, I really like the design of the troops in this. Like, obviously, you've got the black shirts for Oswald, but we've got the red coats. We are literally just red coat infantry. What about the royalists? 
Royalists are just normal base game units. It see, yeah, it seems to be the case. Royal base game units. What about the Yorkist front? Oh, cool, they get blue berets. Oh, that's so cool. What about the commune? Do we care about the commune? I don't really care about the commune. They're not going to live long enough, I hope. <laughs> and the business. We call this foreshadowing. It definitely seems, though, like the church carries itself in good company because we ended up walking away with Slim, Bernie. We even got Harold Alexander. It's a shame I didn't get Claude, but I've got a feeling Claude went with the royalists on this run, so we'll just have to wait for good old Claudy to show up eventually. <laughs> so I have two different routes that I can take here. I can either speak to the Yorkists or I can infiltrate the Yorkists' ranks, and I feel like it's probably going to be better in the long run if I speak to the Yorkists because if I can get the Yorkists on my side. Looking as far as factions as well, like we've got the People's Armies, which is basically all the commie communes together. Kimru and uh, the Irish Republic do not have their own identities, neither do Kurnow or the Scottish Republic or the Jacobites. We have the Yorkist Front, which is of course, well, the Yorkist Front. And then we have the Royalists and the Provisional Government teaming up together to be the Legitimist Front. Now, we are the Anglican League and we have our own faction, but if I can merge with the Yorkist Front, we might actually have enough manpower to actually take it to the Legitimists. So it's all just a waiting game. If I can, I want to try and get the Yorks on my side. We'll wait and see. Up the north. Ooh, that's scary. Didn't know this was a thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's just so much. Form England. Form Great Britain. Both are, are very tasty options. Restore the United Kingdom. Sounds fantastic. Um, Yugoslavian. Okay, I can get resources from that. Don't really care right now. But this is what I need to pay attention to. Our own internal conflict has gathered the interest of numerous foreign powers. powers. Germany, France, Italy, and the Soviet Union, and the United States all have the possibility of supporting such and major factions within the British Isles. Huh. Okay. I can only request French volunteers. Why the French? I don't want the blooming French. You know, I have to say, as far as national portraits go in this mod, I really like this one. Queen Annis the Thirst for the Jacobites. I really like this portrait. This is a really, really nice portrait. Good job, devs. You did a really good job with this one. I really like this. Scottish Republic, obviously, we still have Alexander McKern. Uh, we've got the Red Clydesdale led by Wally Gallagher. We, we need to... Scotland will be good if we can get Scotland as an ally, but the question is, who do I go for? Do I go for the Scottish Republic or do I go for the Jacobites? I feel like the Jacobites might be too conflicting with the Yorkist front because they're both monarchists. So I probably have to go for the Republic. Oh, wow. And it seems like the Irish aren't a safe place either. The Irish just completely imploded with the Gale Tack, the Blue Shirts, the Waterford government. Limerick Soviets. Oh, God. Irish Republic, Waterford government again, and the Ulster Rebellion. Interesting. Because this could affect the outcome of ours because these guys are like our only option for trade outside of Cornwall and Scotland. Well, I knew something was coming. I just didn't know what. And it turns out the Yorkists have just declared War on the Scots. Oh, dearie me. What are you doing, Albert? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I think based on size alone, the the Scots probably have this, but we'll have to wait and see. As for focuses, I'm just taking a quick detour to get these civvies, and then I'm coming back to my main focus tree. I'm going down this, because look, I get army experience, division attack, division defense, which is incredible. I get a major boost to my economy as well, and I get political power gain. That's incredible. I love that. That's fantastic. Well, I didn't have that on my bingo card. It turns out the royalists got involved, decided to eat up the York and they just completely decimated the Scots. My God, Edward, you're you're unbearable, bro. I, I don't know how I'm going to take it to them. The Royalists and the Anglicans are just too powerful. How big is their army? I don't even know. I need to get spies in there. And now that is beautiful. The Royalists are still going after the Yorks and they just declared war on the Birmingham commune. And by doing so, they brought in all of the communes and uh, the Royalists are slowly falling apart, as you can see. And they are literally one step from Worcester. Literally one step from Worcester. Kidderminster too. It's all going to fall. Buckingham around the corner. Northampton, Bedford. Bedford, Banbury, Gloucester, maybe around there. It's all falling apart for the Royalists, and that is exactly what we need. And it's all kicked off. Before I've even had a chance to properly declare upon them, the Birmingham Commune has decided to come after me now that they're mostly done with the Royalists. As it stands now, the Birmingham Community is at war with literally everyone apart from the Reds themselves. So I'm just getting myself equipped, and I'm just going to try and salvage and do what I can. I'm not expecting a great deal. I'm just expecting enough to survive, quite honestly. But if I can turn this around, then hey ho, happy days. I'm all for it. Okay, so bad news is I've completely lost the north. Humberside Commune has completely taken over what I had up here in East Yorkshire, just north of Hull. Um, another problem that's arisen is the fact that I've slowly decided to lose land up by Peterborough, um, and I'm slowly falling back into Norfolk, which is not ideal. I just need to hold on for as long as possible. I'm about to get this, which will give me 
me a buff against them as well as a, a buff in defense but i'm gonna do this and then i'm gonna come back over here and try and finish this because this is gonna give me all the much needed uh military bonuses that i need after that i'm gonna absolutely force my way for literally force my way through the aircraft line because that's probably another reason why we're struggling i need as many aircraft that i can pull together okay guys so i'm playing a big game of catch up with you and i'm about to give you a big old crash course we're now in the year of 1943 and a lot of the time we were just holding our ground doing a little bit of a stalemate um and then things kind of got hectic essentially birmingham commune and the rest of the commies took over the whole uk and the royalists collapsed when the royalists collapsed the Yorkists took all of their territory in the north back again. However, it won't last for long since they are... Ooh, wait, hold on. No, I don't know what's happened, but they've managed to strike up a peace deal with the Birmingham commune. <gasps> you jammy devil, Clement. And up till now, I was having my butt handed to me. I'm struggling with manpower. I'm struggling with units. I was struggling with my template. And then I decided to try something new. Up until now, it was just my 3x4 infantry, and uh, they weren't doing too strong, they weren't doing too good. And then I tried this, artillery, 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 mortar team, and with a 639 defense and 111 breakthrough, all of this has just turned green very quickly, and I'm hoping I can, I can keep this up. I just need to defeat the royalists and then defeat the commune. I need to get rid of these damn, these, these damn brummies, these stupid ass brummies. <laughs> It's all love. I don't mean you any harm, Birmingham. Although I have to admit, I'm probably going to trigger a lot of Birmingham natives with this. I'm sorry. Villa are better. Up the villa! <laughs> Okay, so I started to I started to really fall on top of myself and it wasn't good. I started to lose the south. I've lost a lot of manpower and I'm about to lose my green army up here. <laughs> Yowza. I guess that's what I get for in, for insulting the people from Birmingham, huh? <laughs> Bloody brummies, they know how to hold a grudge. But all jokes aside, I was really struggling, right? So I decided to call in my ally, the Ulster Rebellion. Luckily, my Irish friends have won their civil war, basically, and uh, they're packing a lot. And they're bringing over their troops with them. And hopefully I can use them to turn this around. Because my god is this insufferable. Okay, so thanks to the Irish holding our front line. I was able to move Monty down to the south. And finish off the Royalists. As it stands now, there is no more Royalists. There are no more Mosley. This means I can now focus on the Commune. And there's two less to worry about. For some reason, Leeds and Humberside have just completely... Oh, no, not even Humberside. Sorry, just Leeds. Leeds have backed out. But now, my three divisions, or my three armies situated on this border, this front line, mixed in with the Irish, and the fact that they're also now at war with Cornwall and Wales, I can turn this around. I can take this as an opportunity to finally take it to the Birmingham Commune. So I'm going to wait for Monty to get into position, and as soon as he does, we're going to push. So three, two, one, and just absolutely go for it. Right, okay, yep, yeah, nope, I'll take it. <laughs> that artillery and mortar team are doing amazing. Oh my god. Well, I'm actually, no, I'm playing as the church. Those artillery are doing God's work. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful sight. The Birmingham commune has capitulated, and I've taken 20,000 of their rifles as well. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah, that's artwork. That is artwork in Hoyford. That's what that is. That is fantastic. You slimy mother. Okay, I've only just finished the commune. And what's happened? Clement Attlee, the snake, the, 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 the biggest failure in British politics, has decided to come at me. How dare you, Attlee? That is disrespectful. I do not tolerate. I don't even know how many men you've got. Oh, good grief. I'm hoping the Irish can hold the border until I'm done with the commune. Also, I just called I just called Attlee the biggest failure in British politics. I'm wrong. I don't know why. For some reason, I mixed him up with Oswald. Not Oswald. Oh my God, what's his name? Chamberlain. That was it. Neville Chamberlain. I don't know why I got them both mixed up. Maybe it was the C in the name. I have no idea. Clearly, I need better glasses because I can't see nothing. <laughs> oh, okay, finally, a peace treaty has been done. Now, granted, the Ulster Rebellion did help a little bit i did most of the legwork so i'm going to take everything that i possibly can every single nook and cranny i will take it happily i will take and unite england once and for all and there is our post treaty process now again as mentioned before we are now at war with red clydesdale and the yorkist front so uh toodle pip i'm gonna do my best to try and eat all that up oh my god it's 44 already i have to say though the sheer speed that divisions in this mod work like how quickly they move around the map and everything it's terrifying how quick they are i'm gonna send these guys up to nor uh, to york as well hopefully they can take the capital nice and easy but my god like these divisions are so rapid like look at that ulster division it's madness it's a madness it's crazy okay 
Okay, this is getting a little bit dangerous now because the Yorkists are starting to spread my flank in the south a little bit too wide to where Bernie can't do anything. And although we've got London, we're losing the west. Granted, the capital and Canterbury safe, but oh, dearie me, I need to get on it. I need to take York. It seems that I have finally got the Yorkists under control. I've managed to get them stuck into the middle right here, and I've got to try and get this bit into Wales because this is where they caught me by surprise before. I've completely kicked them out of Norfolk. It looks like the Anglican League is going to have a victory with a very, very strong relationship with Ulster, Ulster Island. I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go. I need to try and keep my fingers crossed. I am going to go ahead and just absolutely max everything on infrastructure just in case. You know, the higher the infrastructure, the, the, the resources get a boost, right? I've played Hoy in like, I haven't played Hoy in like two weeks and so my, my memory is just completely gone. And it seems like another person wants to have a scrap. This time it's the bloody Cornish. And the problem with the Cornish is they're going to bring in the Welsh. No, they're not. Ooh, that's fine. That's fine by me. <laughs> Bring it on, Cornwall. Oh, my God. Yeah, the Cornish ain't got nothing on me. And the Yorkish have collapsed. Brilliant. And just like that, the Anglican League is pretty much all of England and a tad of Scotland and a little bit of Wales. I'm just finishing up the bit down here in Curnow. Um, Good old good old Cornwall. I'm going to try and get them to come down. Um, it's a shame Cornwall has to be hostile. I like Cornwall. Cornwall's a very pretty place. I've never been, but I really want to go. Then after that, I'm now also going to reroute all of my efforts up here in the north. I'm going to try and get rid of the glass. Norwegians, and then try and form an alliance with the Jacobites, maybe. We will see. We will see. And then lastly, I'm going to move Eric Miles down here to good old Wales and prepare for the Welsh. And another thing, since I am basically at war with them already, there's no point in just waiting on my focus tree. I'm going to go down here. The nationalist problem, invade Wales, eliminate Cornwall. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, get it nice and done. And just like that, the Cornish have been cleaned up. Now with my focus tree done, eliminate Cornwall at Liverpool's gates. Now it's time to go after the Welsh. Got 35 days to prepare for it. Oh boy. <laughs> and much to the Jacobites' dismay, I managed to walk away with most of Scotland. I'm sorry, Jacobites, but I can't let you claim the land that, you know, Jufoli belongs to you when you did nothing. You held on up to Inverness and that was it. I did all the legwork. I did all the pushing. They were sitting there trying to take Stirling. How are you going to justify taking Stirling when you couldn't even get past the bloody mountains? It's a very interesting development but because it, it turns out that I can't declare war on Wales because I actually have a, a, a non-aggression pact with them. <laughs> so it seems like the Welsh get to live to see another day. For now, I'm just going to clean up the commune, clean up the Jacobites, and then maybe I'll help out uh, my beloved Ulster who managed to save my skin so many times. Oh, border gore. Oh, it's horrific. It sucks because they're all allies but my Ulster Rebellion lost all of their land and the, the Christian Front came out on top with Patrick Belton and then we've also got the Waterford government doing whatever they wanted to do. William Windsor bro what are you doing lad? I just want to put it out there. I'm not responsible I, I am not responsible for this Irish jigsaw puzzle okay? This is all on the Irish I participated nothing. I did nothing here. <laughs> bro that's mad Lee's didn't even last five minutes <laughs> Ripperoni leads. I'm so glad I survived that big war with the national, with, with the with the with the royals. Sorry, the royals and the commune. If I didn't survive that, I wouldn't have come out on top. But my golly, gosh, is this beautiful? Can I unify England? I want to unify England. Can I unify England? Form England. England. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so for some reason, the Welsh just gave me a helping hand. They literally just cancelled the non-aggression pact by themselves. So I'm just going to declare war and just get straight to business, clean up the Welsh, and I can send more divisions north to help out with the Jacobites. Like, I'm genuinely amazed as well, because, like, not even five minutes ago, I didn't even have, like, 100,000 manpower. A United is England, and boom, two million. <laughs> Love it. And just like that, the mainland has been completed. England under the Anglicans and under Cosmo Gordon Lang has finally finished, which means we can go ahead here and I cannot form any, I cannot restore the British, uh, sorry, re restore the United Kingdom. I'm not even going to entertain. This, I think I might actually need, yeah, it looks like I need land by, uh, by the Irish as well to form Britain. And you know what? In this timeline, there's only England. I'm not going to backstab my, my Irish brethren, the ones who actually helped me in the first place. I'm going to leave it at this. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I really, really, really enjoyed this and I would be very happy to jump into any other mod that is exactly like this. Having like a small nation civil war, but 
it's just one one map, you know, kind of like this. If they did this for like Italy, Germany, France, uh, China, Japan, something like that, I would be really, really happy to try it. So if you do know others like this, please let me know and, and request them down below because I'd be very, very happy to, you know, try them out. But Lame is, thank you so much for your suggested request for this. I have loved this mod and I might hop back into it again in the future. We'll have to wait and see. But with that being said, again, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to, of course, click the like button and the subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you all in the next video I do. But for now, Long live England, long live the Anglican Church, and long live Britannia. <laughs> See you soon, guys. Laters.